probably some of the fastest winds I've ever ridden. But we're gonna try to make the best out of it, despite this crazy wind. Yo, um, this is nuts. <laughs> Hold on, let me talk to you guys after I do this quick hill bomb. Nope, no manuals with this kind of wind. It's such a beautiful day though. Blessed with the best. In uh, Box Springs, located in Moreno Valley, it took us a nice hour and a half drive to get out here. But man, was it worth it! Look at how beautiful these mountains look. This place looks really nice. I just want to explore and see what it has to offer. The trails look beautiful here. We got a beautiful day, so we're gonna take advantage of it. So I was originally gonna come up this gate, but it's closed. As you can. This is like a day use parking lot, but I get maybe it's only open on the weekends. It says park hours 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. I think we gotta go this way to Cougar Trail. I already know this is gonna be quite a challenge. I'm having trouble staying on the bike as I do this climb. The wind just pushes you and you don't have a lot of momentum going up so you're just getting tossed around Whew. we're gonna make it happen take things slow this is probably one of the hardest things i've ever had to do on a bike with these conditions but at the same time it's probably one of the most beautiful down this little patch and once I got past that rock I had no type of control the wind just started pulling me it felt like the bike was getting carried under me it is what it is folks oh, we'll have to come back another day because this is just too insane for me I'm normally a guy who can put up with a lot like if it's raining or drizzling I can ride through it but I, I've never ridden in this type of wind. I don't even know what to expect or like How to even ride like I don't think you can ride this It is one of the hardest things I've ever experienced Oh my goodness At least we get a sick view a feeling that it was just gonna get worse the higher you get up the mountain and it makes sense because there's less blocking the wind the higher you go up when I was down by the, the city you know the houses and stuff it was windy but a lot of the buildings block the wind and then as you get higher and higher I mean we, we would have to go up that trail right there and I know that if this little patch was was crazy windy it's just gonna get worse as we get up to the top Right, I, I gotta take this L and just cruise back down, head home because it's not worth it to me. There's other days to ride, but well, we're gonna take it slow.
remember. These are the donkeys we saw earlier. I thought they were fake because they didn't move much. I like having the full face on too because it blocks the wind. It doesn't feel as painful. Good, yourself? Good. Uh, can I just get a double-double with grilled onions and chopped chilies? Okay. And uh, Coke? Medium okay? Yeah, medium. Perfect. All set? Okay, we're good. All right. 781, thank you. Thank you. At least we got some in and out out of this whole adventure. This is like my favorite thing in the world. It's like my guilty pleasure. A Coke and a cheeseburger. We took a gamble today and we lost that gamble. Before coming here, I did check the weather just to see how I should dress. Maybe I should wear like a hoodie or something warm. And I saw that it had high winds, but I didn't think anything of it. I was thinking like, okay, it'll probably just be windy, right? We get here and it's just howling. And even in the parking lot, I was, I was uh, hesitant, right? Like I kept thinking to myself, is this worth it? Like, should I do it? And then I said, screw it. I'm just gonna give it a shot. And sure enough, it was just impossible to ride. Mountain biking in itself is already a dangerous sport. You don't wanna add to that danger. And that's exactly what this wind was doing. It was just so unpredictable because you could be going down the mountain, but then one gust of wind hits you and you're just, you're, you have no control. It's just, it's really crazy because that's the first time I've ever experienced something like that and it was just terrifying. Like you're just very shocked because mother nature is a powerful beast. That wind was something I'll, I'll never forget. I'm gonna definitely come back though. It, it's a bummer because I really wanted to ride this trail. It looked promising. It looked so beautiful when I was up there, but I think it was just a smarter decision to, to walk away, to take the loss. Even though I, you know, I wasted time and gas to get here, I, I don't mind because we, there's other days. There's other days I can ride. I don't need to put myself through that and potentially get hurt. I can just come back another day when it's not as windy. But it is what it is. At least we got some in and out out of it. Now we just go home and um, get the day started. I was hoping uh, to explore something new. Riding in the wind is definitely scary. I would not recommend it. But we live and we learn. At least we made the smart decision to just walk away. That is gonna wrap up this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna finish my burger and then hit the road, but I'll catch you on the next ride. Peace.